The Charge Syndrome Foundation Speaker Series. The Charge Syndrome Checklist, presented by Dr. Kim Blake. So um, the charge syndrome checklist, and I and I and I have it here, a copy in front of me, right right here um, on my lap, actually. And uh, I'm very proud of this checklist because it was developed by our Atlantic um, Canadian Charge Syndrome group and um, our nurse practitioner, who deals with a lot of children with uh, multiple developmental issues and medical issues, and has uh, put huge input into this. That's Angie. And with this, um, we feel that any physician, any parent, and actually all my students can learn very much more about charge syndrome and follow, it's like following a prescription, it's following a, um, a recipe. So the charge syndrome checklist essentially is a top to bottom per system. So you start with genetics, neurology, ear, nose and throat, moving down to gastroenterology, right the way down to psychological and development. Cross on the other side is infant, child, adolescent, adulthood. So what you've got is you've got something in one page. That's what's important because these checklists can be huge. I typically give it to my students before they see a patient with charge sy syndrome. They've never usually seen somebody with charge syndrome and they can read this, go and do their interview, come back to me. They then use this to tell me what's going on with each system and then they'll tell me what they would like to maybe think about doing. Then I will make sure that they've got it right. We go in together and then they can do the dictation. But what I think is that's great for me as a teacher and I'm teaching my students about charge syndrome. But for parents, if they keep this with them, they can really check off if the doctor's doing all the right things. So the charge syndrome checklist is a health supervision guide, very much for the parents to make sure, has the doctor covered the GI stuff about swallowing problems and maybe mouth overstuffing and things like that? It's in there and that might jog their memory to say, ah, oh, need to talk about puberty. Puberty's coming up soon. You know, we haven't really been talking about that because they're only 10, 11. So it's a real aid memoir. It's a real sort of um, checklist, but it's quick. And then on the back, we have some resources um, uh, on the one that you can print out. There's resources on the back. And I think from a very simplistic way, it simplifies charge. Of course, there's more to it, but this has actually been done by a Delphi method, which means that it's been well-researched, it's validated, and it's actually, there's been a published paper also to show that it covers everything it should do. So we've not only produced it, it's been researched by another set of research to say it is fundamentally a very good checklist. So um, I think it's one of the important things I wanted was that things didn't get missed, things got addressed, doctors could see their session, but somebody like me as a general practitioner, has to, a general pediatrician, has to cover it all. So it's a quick method of going through it. So I think it's fantastic, Cincinnati are using it, and I think more people need to get it out there. It's on my own website, which we'll have at the, the, uh, 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 for you to link into, and you can easily print it off in color. When should parents get and start using the checklist? So as far as the checklist is concerned, when should it be used? It can be used right at the beginning of a parent uh, of parents journeys. And really it just helps them or be more organized. It is very overwhelming. Um, I think it needs to be given um, with kindness to say that not all these things on here can occur because again, you look at it and think, oh my goodness. And I've spoke to a number of parents that have had newly diagnosed little infants with charge syndrome and it is something sometimes so overwhelming. But this can be a really, when you look at all the literature out there, it sort of summarizes it all together, which then perhaps doesn't mean to say it's as overwhelming because there's a checklist. It's like a very complicated recipe, but you've got it all written down in a little format. And I think for, for, for parents to take it with them or to have it to give to somebody, many, many people we know don't know much about charge. They um, may have heard of it, which is great, but they may not have the knowledge base that some other doctors like myself who have been dealing with it, dealing with charge syndrome 
for, for, for over 30 years. But do you know what? I use the checklist. I take it in with me because I don't want to forget things. I sometimes think, oh, I must think about immunology. I must think about any more, um, um, perhaps, um, um, uh, scoliosis again. They're, they're, they're going into puberty. Their spines are going to be maybe um, suffering a little bit through the puberty because they're shooting up. Think about scoliosis. So it helps me as well. Do people receive this well? Yes, they do receive it well. If a doctor doesn't receive it, it well, I would change the doctor. I wouldn't change the checklist. So I would take it in and I would say, this has been researched, this is a checklist, very similar to the Down syndrome checklist. It's all there, please keep it, and this will help you, um, help us organize our child that we're gonna be looking after. For information and resources about CHARGE Syndrome or to make a donation, visit chargesyndrome.org and click the links in the description below.